Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Hatton, and I thought I would just share a little bit of information about that newfangled math that uh, we're teaching our students in the school and maybe try to explain a little bit of why we teach the math this way. Okay, let this be an example of a problem we might work with, 14 plus 12. Now, the way that you and I learned how to do this in school was we would start on the right side and we would add here, four plus two is six. And then one plus one is two, which obviously worked, but there was one problem with this. When we were teaching our students to learn this way, we were actually kind of teaching them a trick and they were not understanding the values that they were working with. So what we've done now is we take that same problem and so that our students have a better understanding of the values that they're working with and not just arbitrarily adding numbers together, we start on the left side and we say this one right here has a value of 10 because it is in the tens place. And this number, and if we need a little reminder, we can write a T up here for tens and an O up here for ones, okay? And so this value then would be 10 and the value here would be 10. So this is not really one plus one, it's 10 plus 10. And 10 plus 10, is 20. Okay, and then now we go to the rightmost column and we add 4 plus 2 and we get 6. And now we have to add this part right here. Now, we want to get to a point where students are not adding in columns, but they're thinking about what the answer is in their head before they write their number down. So for example, we would see, be saying, this is 20 plus six is 26. And then we would write our answer 26. Now, obviously this can become a little bit more complex later on, but when students understand the values of what they're working with, it actually makes it easier for them to understand the math that they're working with, especially when they get to division and multiplication. When they're understanding these values, then it's going to make a lot more sense for them when they're doing multiplication and division, when they're working with much larger numbers. But when they understand the values of what they're working with, then they'll be able to look at an answer and say, yeah, that number makes sense. Or no, that answer, there's no way that that answer makes sense because of the values that are involved, and they'll be able to correct their own work. That's just one example of what we are able to do with this kind of new math, and this is the reason why we are teaching your students this way. Hopefully, you will continue to watch some of the other videos that I have, and you'll gain a better understanding of how your students are working with math, and you will be able to help them with their own math at home. Thank you for checking in. This is Mr. Hatton.